So here we have the new Pico Quant, or Quantizer, from Erica Synth. Like all the Pico modules, this is free HP. We have control over tolerance, glide, a clock in, a clock out. All these can be gate in and gate out, it doesn't have to be a steady clock. Your CV in and your CV out. And for this little mini demo, I'll just quickly walk you through this patch. Now my CV input is the Music for Modular Turing Machine. I've scaled its output to the kind of range I want rather than a full five volts, five octaves. That's usually too much for a sequence, for me at least. My clock out is automatically generating a gate signal every time a new note is generated. I don't have to clock this, so... Each time a new note is generated, dependent on this random CV, this gives me a gate, and this is firing off the wavetable synth sound in the patch. Now the bass drum you can hear, is just there to help keep rhythm. If I wanted to clock this, I have a steady rhythm here that I'll plug in. It's only going to give me a new CV value and a gate out of this clock output, depending on when it's plugged in, when it's getting a gate on that clock in. So we'll quickly go through the scales and I'll pull up an image on screen. When this is off, it's diatonic. We then have a double harmonic major, which is an Arabian scale. Harmonic minor. And actually, let's clock this. So we've just got a simple four note sequence. We might not get all the notes in these scales in that, but again, diatonic, double harmonic major, harmonic minor, blue scale, diminished scale, pentatonic, full tone, and chromatic. I'm going to stick on pentatonic. Now the tolerance is the kind of magic feature here. When the tolerance is all the way left, there's a 50% tolerance for the CV input. So when it's 50% towards the next note in any given scale, it will generate a new note. When it's all the way up, there's only a 10% chance, sort of window that this has to fall in. If it's 10% within that window of a note, we'll get the note out. Now because this is random CV, it mustn't be going anywhere near that 10% window because we're now not getting many notes. With a tolerance of 50%, they're all close enough to the values in these given scale tables to get a new note. So it becomes a great performance feature even with the sequence locked. It's kind of how busy the pattern is, both in gate out and CV pattern. And again, that still works when this is clocked. The gate's passing through, but the tolerance on the notes isn't giving us all the changes as it does when it's to the left. Now glide, fairly self-explanatory, and a portamento over the output. So that's just a quick look at the Pico Quantizer. Cheers for tuning in. So before finishing the video, I wanted to show you this online editor for the Pico Quantizer. It's a really simple and easy to use, fantastic little tool really, to customize this unit how you want. We can use semitones or quarter tones, meaning we can do microtonal things. On semitones or microtones, it's as quick and easy as selecting the notes you want. If you then wanted a quarter tone, it splits the keys in half and we could do microtonal work. We can choose which slot this would save into. We could also upload pre-made scale patterns, lots of familiar ones, maybe some new ones in there as well. We can 
clear it out and it's as simple as connecting the device and uploading much like the Pico drums.